Hi everyone, this is Manoj here and in this video, I'm going to give you the topics which are very much important for your KC 80 2021 as well as the whatever the topic that you need to study in these particular topics and then uh, let's I, I'll be choosing particular one topic and I'll be discussing the tricks for that and uh, I'll be doing tricks of these kind of uh, the all these topics uh, are in upcoming videos and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified with every video that will be uploaded by me so let me start the topic first we have logics part you have to spend one hour to learn this particular thing so what are the things that is there in this logic part so you have two tables and we have searching searching circuits switching circuits and we have converse inverse and con contra positive and we have dual other than this what you need to study in this logic part is you need to study the formulas just like d Morgan's law and distributed law, community law, all these things. If you study this, you can actually score one marks easily. And then matrix. See matrix, definite question. Take out every paper of your KCET. There you find definitely one or two questions in matrix and determinants. See, I have not mentioned determinants over big because uh, I hope you understood. Because uh, matrix is uh, determinants is a subset of this matrix, and you have to work it out. And in matrix, particularly, what you need to work is the linear equation with three variables and inverse mathematics, and property based questions and SM and NSM, and uh, joint and uh, minor and cofactors. Okay. And let's see the third one that is trigonometry. So you need to spend trigonometry for about two minutes. You have to no 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 not two minutes. It's two hours. You have to spend something around two hours over here. Why? Because uh, it's one of the most uh, tricky one. Okay. So that's why. And then what, what are the things that you need to uh, like uh, learn here is that, that is a uh, general solution and personal solution and inverse trigonometric formulas and miscellaneous examples of this particular trigonometric textbook. Okay, textbookally miscellaneous examples are the way solve And the fourth one is straight line. So what is what do you need to learn in straight line? That is joint equation and separate equation. See, and then uh, some some these uh, you know. Um, Contain of the uh, connections of uh, parallel and perpendicular lines. All these things you need to learn this. Learn in this particular uh, straight lines. And what is the thing that you need to learn in vectors? See, vectors, 3D, line, and plane. All these topics, whatever are there from these topics, you will get something around 10 questions or uh, more. Over this is maximum of 10 questions. At least you will find five to five to six questions from this particular topics okay please do concentrate see uh, here the question will be directly asked but the data will be changed i have uh, seen some questions in your kcet paper and um, this is how your question will be coming from so please do practice your textbook questions uh, for your vector three lines planes okay and then lpp are so similar for that you have to work the textbook questions and then let's see the continuity part so continuity what you need to learn is you need to see most of the question that you that you will get in the um kc examination will be in the form of deter indeterminate form so what is indeterminate form well, that is uh, infinity by infinity or zero by infinity or one by infinity see which is in, which, which which can't be predicted see infinity number that you can't predict it may go until or unless it, it see it will go on just like that and that's why if you find that kind of a problem then you you can easily crack that using l hopper's rule if you don't know l hopper's rule please do uh, google it or uh, search youtube videos so there you will get a playlist of this l hopper's rule it's one of the most easiest topic and you can score uh, easily how much marks that you require to score in this particular topic and let's see the derivative one so you have uh, you have to solve few questions in this and what are all the things that you need to study in the derivative is you have to solve the entire question which is there in the te textbook and then miscellaneous examples as well as your exemplar okay and then what are the topics that you need to concentrate on over here is chain rule and substitution and uh, logarithmic and double differentiation and the third one is application of differentiation what is the what are the things that you need to study here is tangent and normal and then rate measures and theorem some theorems and in integration see integration don't study any other things other than your textbook okay there are something around 300 plus problems if you solve these 300 plus problems you are in the top level you can solve any integration questions see integration is very easy see for, for the one who don't know anything he'll take something around he'll take more time okay if you know something about the uh, trigonometry you can solve this in cheat key like uh, in few seconds you can solve the integration problem because see integration problems are scary but they are easy okay and then let's see uh, the differentiation uh, differentiation using path so here you have to work see 
differentiation by integration okay and here you have to work the previous year question paper like practice the previous year question paper problems and then and then first one is integration by parts integration by parts is one of the most important topic and here you here here uh, so many people will be confusing and lo losing their marks and then area of the occurs also you work previous year problems and then probability i don't want to tell you because work the solve problems of the math exemplar you will get some questions from that and uh, one of the most important uh, interesting topic over here, uh, thing over here is probability is one of the logic logic logical one and you have to uh, be aware of uh, the question problem solving skills in prob probability and binomial multinomial theorem let's discuss and uh, which is which will you will find definitely one or two questions in binomial multinomial theorem and uh, let's see the tricks that is there in binomial theorem so binomial theorem tricks so what is the sum of coefficients of all terms and the expansion of 45x minus 49 4 so what is the thing which is there in this question read the question context entirely from first to end what is there in that that is sum of the coefficient of all terms in the expansion of 45 x minus 49 4 49 whole raised to power 4 so here sum of coefficient of all the terms in expansion we need to find the sum of coefficient in all the terms what are the coefficient of x over here that is 45 what is the coefficient of this that is minus 49 and what is the entire term that is 4 the question only says the entire thing and the question only gives the data what you need to do is substitute just identify and substitute and get your answer that easy so if you multi if you subtract this will get minus 4 and 4 raised to power 4 what is the answer that is 256 option d so let's solve the second one that is in the expression of 1 my 1 plus x 1 raised to power 50 sum of coefficient of uh, odd power is see odd power there see i haven't observed this thing if they ask just like that commonly then you have to, you have to do like that the previous one if they ask odd or even you have to divide it by two because in in particular this one for example this let me solve this systematically one plus x right one plus one over raised to power 50 if this is the case then it will become two raised to power 50 in this two raised to power 50 equal number of even you, you can find equal number of even and equal number of odd terms right so what do you need to do for to find just odd terms nothing but 2 divided by 50 4 divided by 50 this this one if you take this to to upside uh, upside to the numerator 2, 2 to the power 50 minus 1 that will become 2 to the power of 49 so what is our answer answer that is option b that is 2 raised to power 49 and let's see the next question that is what is the sum of the coefficient of all the terms in the expression of 3 third question here is there i have solved one question and you have to solve these things this is homework for you solve these things and comment below this is the second trick so second trick says that find the coefficient of this so these questions are look scary but these questions are very much easy so i'll tell you how to solve this particular question i'll be solving two questions and you have to solve any one so first we have x6 and y y3 y raised to 3 in x plus 2y whole raised to power 9 what is the question find the coefficient of this particular thing so we need to find first first let's consider this this is the binomial expression that, that they have given so here we have x variable and we have 2y okay let's put bracket for those things and what is the power which is there in x that is 6 and what is the power in y that is 3 put this put those things and what is the power the binomial expression uh, entire power that is 9 put those 9 here and put c and what is the power which is there in y that will be taken into taken over here so what is our expression that is 9c3 x raised to power 6 2y whole raised to power 3 okay so what we need to do here is just neglect this particular thing and then uh, this y over here then what are all the remaining thing that you get that will be our answer that is 9c3 2 raised to power 3 I hope you can solve this in seconds and I don't want to teach you combination right now. And then we have second question over here that is a raised to power 5 and b raised to power this b, b raised to power 7 in a minus 2b whole raised to power 12. So we have a over here and we have minus 2b over here. So what is the power of a that is 5 and what is the power of b that is 7. So what you need to do here is very simple take this 12 and put combination symbol and place the 7 over here 
so and then neglect these and this what will be our answer that is 12 c7 and minus 2 whole raised to 7 so this is this homework problem for you solve this problem and comment the answer below find the number of integral terms okay so we have to find the number of integral terms this is also a binomial term and this is one of this looks very scary because these are huge numbers square root of 3 and 8 uh, 8 8 root of 5 whole is to power 256 without calculator how can we do this it's easy it's easy i'll tell you how first what you need to do is take the roots uh, under roots that is 2 over here and this is 8 get the lcm of these two what will be the lcm that is 8 divide this 8 to this divide 256 by 8 so what will be your answer that is 32 see find the number of integral term if you expand this using binomial term then put the r value as 0 then you'll you'll get something some every value that will be satisfied with r because every number is completely divisible by 0 okay so that is why and then uh, we'll get see what you need to do is you'll get if you divide this you'll get 32 over here 32 for that you have to add one number okay whatever the number so this is this is your answer that is 33 your answer it's like that i hope you understood if if not i'll be teaching you another one so over here what you need to do is see and observe one thing see you can do it you can do it just like this if if both the numbers are prime okay here 3 is also prime 5 is also prime here 5 is also prime 7 is also prime if the number is prime only then you can do it I, if, if it is uh, other than prime what you need to do i'll tell you the third example is like that only so let's solve this we have uh, 2 and 8 over here and um, so what is what will be the lcm of 2 and 8 that is 8 so divide 1024 with 8 if you divide this you will get 1 to 8 1 to 8 that is 128 add 1 to this what will be the answer 129 is our answer and let's solve this i hope you already started to solve this particular thing if you understand understood the topic which has been actually told by me told me initially and um, we have uh, 9 raised to power uh, 1 by 4 and uh, 8 raised to power 1 by 6 so what will be the answer you might think that 4 and 6 it's not see this is not the prime number case okay what you need to do is this can be written as 3 square and this can be written as 2 cube right then whole raised to power 1 by 4 and whole raised to power 1 by 6 so what you will get that is 1 by 2 2 by 4 and 3 by 6 1 by 2 1 by 2 so what is our thing that is 1 by 2 okay so 1 by 2 is nothing but uh, like uh, 1 by 2 is nothing but square root 2 into 2 and what will be the this one what was that uh, result resolution of thing 500 divided by 2 that is 250 is a resolution or divided answer so what you need to do here is 250 plus 1 our answer is 251 so that's all for today and thanks for watching happy learning so please update with us if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you will be notified with every video that will be uploaded by me thank you so much